hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see a go blank programming for implementation of a binary search so binary search is a search strategy basically it is used to find the element within a list by consistently reducing the amount of data to be searched so that increases the rate at which the search term is found so it's like a little better version of linear linear search so let's see how we can do that so I'm giving a very basic example package me and we can have our function we can call it as binary search and I would need what we would need we would need uh, let's say uh, a we can call it anything calling it as a and stock this would be a pile of data where we would have all our where I'm going to search a or we can call this as key or something else. So we let's call it key. Okay. And stock. And, and what the expression would be a boom. So we just want to know it's if it's true or false. So basically we will have a list of stock and what we would be doing is searching for searching for the key if that key exists in that stock or not so uh, a a is equal to zero okay and then we can have b or we can call it high and a lower high so it becomes little more easy to understand low and let me call this as high equal to length length stock minus one okay now for low is less than or equals to high then we can have a median median is average low plus high divided by two okay if if the stock if the stock median i will explain you what i'm doing okay if stock median is less than key stock median is less than key then we can say low equals to median plus one median plus one else else high equals to median minus one okay i will explain you what i'm doing if low equals to length stock or stock low not equals to key return false okay else return true true and now i need my be no mean function i'll explain you what i did okay now main function items equals to now this are my stocks i mean you know what our things are there in that too let's say all this are my all the datas or, or where i have to search 45 or 66 20 32 29 30 31 okay now 
fmt dot print ln. Have our binary search and what what would be the input so we are giving i'm giving it as let's say what should we call let's call it as 44 okay comma so let's now do go run main dot go i was expecting an error what is that error okay I, there is an extra so it's true 44 do exist in this so even we can achieve the same thing using linear but in what is the main difference between linear and binary search is in binary search when my first condition says low is less than or equal to high that time medium plus high is divided by two so it's basically whenever my condition changes in the second one the condition changes low equals to median plus one on this one so if that means if my stock let's say my average my median of this thing is uh, let's say the average of this number is uh, let's say it's 40 42 so when it's 42 it will keep searching from the values above 42 usually i have to write everything it will be in a linear list you know it will be in an increasing order so it will search from that it will search from the half of that towards this in this uh, i made a mistake i should have actually had a like you know, it should have been in an increasing order so it, it will search from that 44 towards the end okay so that's how it searches even if it is not in that order also when i've when my median is 40 it will search as per that even if it is not in an uh, arranged in an ascending order increasing order so that's how binary search works it will stop and search from that particular part it reduces the work so that is a basic difference between linear search and binary search and we can use a very simple example so to explain by bin what binary search is i hope the video is useful if you have any comment and if you want to make you to make me any videos please put that in the comment and let me know what do you want to learn and if you have any suggestions yeah do let me know thank you do like share and subscribe to the channel